Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and today we will discuss about loops in shell scripting. So what are loops and what is their purpose? I think you are already familiar with as you might have heard and learned this concept in the other programming languages as the loop is a very useful programming tool which is present for almost all the languages. So loop is a very powerful programming tool that will enable us to execute a set of command in the repeated manner. So loop is nothing but a program structure that repeats a sequence of instruction until some specific condition is satisfied. So now let's discuss about different loop types. So majorly four loop types are present in shell scripting, namely while loop, for loop, until loop and select loop. So we will use different loops based on different situations. So for example, the while loop executes the given commands until given condition will remain true. And on the other hand, the until loop executes until given condition becomes true. Once you have a good programming practice, you will gain the expertise in this topic. So let us discuss these loops one by one. So the first one is while loop. So this while loops enables us to execute a set of commands repeatedly until some given condition will occur. So it is usually used when you need to manipulate the value of variables repeatedly. So this is the syntax for while loop. So we have to give while and after that we have to give the command then do and we have to pass the statement which needs to be executed if that command which we have passed in the while gets true. And after that we will finish our while loop by giving done. So it is very simple syntax. Let us discuss this with some simple example. So let's consider for this example, if you want to print the values from 0 to 10, then if you go with the usual steps, you have to print the value of 0, 1, 2, up to 10 repeatedly. And it is very time consuming process. And on the other hand, we can use the while loop to automate this process so that we can run the specific command repeatedly. So let's consider, we will create one file in the vi editor itself. So just vi loop.sh. So inside this, let us first give the shebang construct. So for this example, let's consider if you want to print the values from 0 to 10, then the initial value of our variable would be 0. So for this, just create one variable. So in this case a, which is equal to 0. After that, we can execute our while loop here. So just type while. So after that, we will pass the command. So in this case, if you want to print the numbers from 0 to 10, then the loop will have to continue until the value of a will become 10. So for that, we will call out our variable by using the dollar symbol. So dollar a should be less than or equal to 10. So this loop will continue to execute until the value of a will become 10. On the next line, give do. And after that, you have to give the statement that you need to execute every time when this statement is true. So if the statement is true, we will nothing but uh, print the variable, which is a. But every time after the statement, we have to give the counter for assigning the value to the new value. So when initially our value for a is zero, after printing the zero value, while loop will execute. So for that, we have to give the counter so that the value of a should get incremented by one. So let's consider. So for this, we will assign the value a equal to as we don't have the functionality to perform some simple arithmetic operations. So we have to use the expr for it. So we have to use the expr for it. So just give back ticks expr and we will increment the value of a with one. So just dollar a plus one. We will complete our expression and we will end our loop by giving done. So this is it. This is how the while loop will execute. Let me show you how the output will look like. For that, just save the file. Then, so we will make this file executable by using the chmod command. As you can see, now we can run the file. So dot slash and the file name is loop dot sh. So hitting enter. As you can see, it is showing the output from 0 to 10. 
So this is how you can use the while loop for repeating the statement to save your effort and make the script more efficient. So our next loop is for loop. So the for loop operates on the list of items. So it repeats the set of commands for every item in the list. So we have to create one list and it will repeat the commands that we have passed for every item in it. So this is the syntax for it. So here we have used the for loop and we have created one variable name where and these are the words that we have passed into our variable. The set of commands will be executed on all of these characters which we have created into our variable. So each time the for loop executes, the value of variable where is set to the next word in the list of words. Let us discuss this with some simple example. So let's create one file. So we will use a similar file. So let us create one file in which we want the output from 0 to 10. So we will use the same example, but instead of while loop, we will use the for loop here. So for this, we don't need to create the variable for passing our initial value as in the for loop as the variable will be created in the for loop itself. Let me show you how. So just give the for and after that just give the variable name. So in this case we will use like where and we will pass the list of items that we need to store into this variable. So as we have to print all the numbers from 0 to 10 so we will pass the same. So give in and the values so 0 one, two. So just make sure that these values are separated by spaces so that the shell will identify it as a separate values or characters you can say. After that give do and on the next line you have to give the statement that you need to run on this set of items. So we will simply just echo the variable which is where and we will end the for loop by using done. So this is very simple. We have created one for loop where we have created one variable where and we have stored 0 to 10 values in it and we are printing the variable. Every time this echo command will run, all the items which are present in this list will be assigned to our variable where and it will be printed as a output. Let us execute this. So before that just save it and we will use the chmod command to make it executable and the file name which is loops.sh and now we will run our file so just so here you can see it is printing the numbers from 0 to 10 here for both the examples the output is same but we have used the while loop for first example and for second we have used the for loop i hope you got the clear idea and basic difference between these so our next loop is until loop so the while loop is perfect for situations where we need to execute a set of commands while some condition is true. But sometimes you need to execute some commands until a condition is true. So for this purpose we will use the until loop. So here is the syntax. We have to give the until command. After that we have to pass the statement which needs to be executed until this command will become true. So it is similar to the while loop. Just the difference is the statement will be executed until that command that we have passed will become true. So let's discuss this with some simple example. So for this example let's create one file which is loops.sh. So now we will use the until loop for executing the same output. We want the numbers which is printed from 0 to 10 but instead of while loop or for loop we will use the until loop. So to do that the syntax will be similar to the while loop. So we have to pass some initial value to our variable. So the initial value will be 0. So a equal to 0. After that instead of while just type until and for the command. The statement will be executed until the command will become true. So for this if you have to print the 0 to 10 numbers our command should be false until that number will be equal to 10. So for making the condition false we have to use the exclamation symbol before the condition and after that just give our statement. So the $a should be less than 
11 so it will obviously print the numbers from 0 to 10 do now we will print our a variable and after that this is not enough we have to give the counter which will increment the value of a with 1 every time the loop will be executed so just a equal to backtick expr which is an expression function dollar a plus 1 and we will close our loop by using done so this is it so this is very simple so if the command is true so the shell command is evaluated so if the resulting value is false then the given statement will get executed so the given statement is echo and we are printing the value of a so the initial value will be 0 and after printing we will be incrementing our value by 1 so the 0 plus 1 will be 1 after that the 1 plus 1 will be 2 and so on so this condition will become false until the value reaches to the 10 which is less than 11 so this is how until loop will work let me show you how so for that just save our file and execute it so now let's execute our file so just give loops dot sh so as you can see it is printing the results from 0 to 10 it is very simple it is similar to the while loop but in this case the statement will be executed if the condition is false so our last loop type is select loop so the select loop will provide an easy way for creating a numbered menu from which the user can select the options so it is useful when you need to ask the user to choose one or more items from the list of choices so here is the syntax for the select loop so here the where is the name of the variable and the word 1 to the word n are the sequences of characters which are separated by spaces so each time the for loop will execute the value of variable where is set to the next word in the list of words so for every selection a set of command will be executed within the loop so this will be your exercise for today's lecture you have to use the select loop for storing some values into some variable and you have to implement some statement which should be executed for every word so i hope you got the clear understanding about how the loop will work and we have also seen it with some simple example so if you like this lecture please hit subscribe and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates and don't forget to subscribe us on our social media which i have linked in the description below thanks for watching